<laughs> Fuck this damn uh, rubbing alcohol. It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> That wasn't me. <laughs> Jesus, Erica. <laughs> My God. Famous YouTuber, Rika D. So today, Rika just happens to be at the studio. So Rika, come on in. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Rika, tell us a little bit about what's happening today. Um, today we're gonna be doing a tampon stove. Yes, with a real tampon. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is because the tampon string, we found out about a couple weeks ago, that it's covered, I think it's covered in wax, or this is like something from the gods, because this is so flammable, and it just lasts forever. So we're going to use this as the wick. This also makes a really good water collector too, so when you're out and there might be just a little puddle left and you need to carry some water back to the campsite, you can just use this, dip it in, soak it up with water, get it back to the campsite, and then strain it out. Will you stop? <laughs> There's worse things that you could do. Just make sure you have a new one before you attempt this. We tried this uh, a couple weeks ago at Fox's. It was a big fail. That sucks. I'm ah. so excited about my homemade stove. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Don't put your face next to it. We're leaving for Utah on Thursday. We have to deal with bears. Rattlesnakes, rats the size of children. Um, it's uh, it's deadly out there where we're going. Deadly. You know, we all had to buy a lot of ultralight gear uh, for the trip. There's eight of us going. Uh, there was different options on stoves that we could actually get. I actually have the BioLight stove. BioLight stoves are amazing tools that deliver clean cooking and electricity access using nothing but wood for fuel. Uh, which has the little fan in it. It's a little heavy. You're not allowed to have fires uh, out there backcountry camping. So that is a legal way to kind of have a small little fire while you're out there because it is contained and it is a cooking apparatus. So I'm going to sacrifice to make sure we have something out there because again, any sort of little fire is nice even if it's a little BioLite stove. I had sent some videos to each of the girls on the different types of stoves you could get. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh! I had to put the uh, the top back on. That was in these little indentations so that the whole thing would be picked up as a unit. Rika really liked the videos on how to make the alcohol stoves out of cans. So there you have it. Here's my alcohol burning stove. We've tried this so many times she's had to drink about 68 <laughs> monster drinks yep. so far just to get the video right. But today's the day she's gonna just rock it out. So please enjoy. You might recognize her sister Erica works at the studio <laughs> sometimes. That's why she looks kind of familiar, but she has a twin named Erica that you've probably seen in some of the other episodes. She looks just like her, it's crazy. But this one's a little bit more raw, you know what I mean? Okay, so what we're gonna be using and what you guys need are two aluminum cans. Pins. A book. The Prince's Bride. Buttercup was raised on a small farm. A hammer. Some pliers. Jerk on it. <laughs> there it is. A blade. A screwdriver walking knife. Had a brain fart. Sort of breaking the bone, and then the second part of the strike is actually going through. 
but it worked. And definitely your wick, your tampon. <laughs> This brand is OB. I'm not sure about the other brands if they're as good. Why is it called OB? I have no idea why it's called OB. That's a good question. It's because it sounded like the reverse of BO. <laughs> no body odor, no vagina odor. It keeps it all up in that bitch. So the first thing <laughs> Mark our cans. Let's try to get it as straight as possible. That's all right. Then we're gonna use our blade to just make a slight mark, puncture. Do our markings where the holes are going to be. So I'm going to do one in the middle and then two on both sides. And the one in the middle you want to make a little bit bigger than the rest. And then we're going to make eight marks on the sides evenly. Pretty excited about going on this trip and I'm pretty excited about using this new stove. So on the next videos, you guys will probably see the craziness that's happening while we're making our commercials and backcountry camping where I'm pretty sure um, people are going to start playing pranks on folks. I can, I think I can fight off a bear, maybe. A baby one. Someone died actually last week off the cliff that we're going to. I don't know how many of you guys have gone backcountry camping, but there are no toilets. So I'm literally gonna have to find a space where no nobody is, dig a hole, take a shit. Okay, look, fold your crystals. I'm gonna have to go shit. I'm not pooping in the middle of the night. I'll hold that shit. That's why I wake up. Like you should do some sort of like native nature call every time you drop a <laughs> deuce out there. So that every time you're f you finished cleansing the bowels. Like, ah! Yes. I'm done! <laughs> so what I'm doing now is making holes in the marks and just kind of making it a little big so the... Um, the flames can get through. We've made the marks. Crimp the bottom piece of the can with some pliers. And we're doing this in order for this bottom piece to fit snugly, well a little snug, inside of the top piece. So what I'm going to use to stuff the bottom part of the can is uh, some insulation. Oh, and also the tampon. First we're going to put the insulation in, in the bottom part. And then we're going to stick the tampon in there. And then we're going to stick the string before we put the alcohol in. We're going to stick the string through the hole. Okay. Because we have these crimps, we can just easily stick it in the bottom. Okay, so before we add the alcohol inside of the can, we want to have another can for just in case the alcohol spills over. We're going to set this inside of here. You guys can use a bowl or a plate or something to where alcohol isn't spilling all over the place. The pot is not directly onto the stove. Just like the stove at home, you're not directly putting it on top of the flames. So now we're going to add the alcohol to the stove. You just want the alcohol, just pour it slightly at first. 
and you want to just let it soak up a little bit. So now we're going to put the alcohol away. Away and from. And we're going to light this bitch up. All right. Here we go. So right now it's just priming itself and eventually all the flames will come up through all the holes. Hey guys, sorry I look all flustered. We just came back from shooting a music video. So we are going to continue with the stove. And I also realized that it would work better if I punched more holes uh, on the side of the stove to get more oxygen in there. So you wanna make 16 holes instead of eight because I've seen other YouTubers uh, just make eight holes and it didn't work very well. So we're gonna work with 16. So now we have 16 holes and this should be enough to have some oxygen flow through and to keep the flames going. So now we're just gonna seal it up. So you don't wanna beat too hard, but you know, just enough. It sounds worse than what it is. And you guys probably recognize that nice young man from a <laughs> from the YouTube channel called I Might Be Chad Idiot's Guide to Los Angeles. You guys have to check his channel out. It's uh, just a whole bunch of craziness that you don't want to miss out on. And my twin sister Erica is on the show. <laughs> uh, just make sure you don't spill very much alcohol around the pan because it'll all go up in flames. You don't want to burn your weave. You don't want to burn your brows. All right, guys, wish me luck. Ooh, motherfucker. Guys, check this out. We actually did it. It was a success. The tampon is still in there, it's burning. So all you need is a tampon, well, half of a tampon, two cans, and a penny, and you have your perfectly lit stove for camping. Backcountry camping, it's cheap, it's lightweight. You can find it anywhere. Ladies, you always have a freaking tampon, or at least I hope you do. This shit's fucking amazing. It's been lit up for like almost 30 minutes now. It's a fucking tampon burning in here. Ladies, utilize your tampons. They're not just for the vagina. You can make some fire. Hey, backcountry camping. That's all you need if you go backcountry camping. If not, just stick up your veg your and have a nice day. Is the penny out there? <laughs> hey, you got a fucking penny. <laughs>